In this morning's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple pressure that you can do out of the dime or dollar uh, 326 package. So let's jump into it. This is basic edge pressure. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level. And we are talking today about one of the most popular defenses in Madden right now, and that's the dollar 326. And really, what we're going to be talking about is a concept that is uh, kind of an oldie but a goodie but before we do that I want to encourage you if you're new to my channel my channel is designed simply to help you get better at Madden and so if you're looking to improve you're looking to take your game to the next level looking to get some free tips and tricks uh, be sure to subscribe but also be sure to join my discord my discord is the best possible way for you to stay up to date with everything that I have going on in Madden it's also the best way for you to meet new people uh, we have a community of over 200 members over there so be sure to come on over uh, join the party over there and uh, meet some new people it's really a great way to improve in the game all right, so dollar three two six, and we're just gonna go over DB fire now. DB fire two. Now this is one of the best plays in Madden history. It's been good every single year. We're gonna talk about it again this year. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna spread our defensive line. We're gonna press coverage, and then from there we're just gonna slide these guys in off the edge, right off the hip here, and we're gonna contain them. And you're gonna see it's gonna look just like this. And then we're just going to take our user, we're going to put him in a quarterback spy, and then we are just going to um, sit him right here. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to sit there, we're going to basically do a little little bit of a movement, and then we're going to like, wiggle him basically, and then we're going to jump back into coverage. So I'll snap of the ball, here we're just going to wiggle him, and you see the pressure come on. Now, one other strategy with this, and, and basically what we're trying to do is essentially we are holding um, we are holding this uh, this linebacker so let me show you this real quick so we're gonna try to hold the guard right now one way you can do this is you can literally just run down and out uh, and as you see there the pressure is gonna come the pressure is gonna come no matter what um, you do as long as you spread your line let me just go ahead and do the setup now again, I like to typically, uh, I will typically crash my line uh, to one side. And then like I said, I'm just gonna run down here with wide at the snap of the wall. And you see the pressure's gonna come right in off the right, off that left edge. Now, I, you can see here, obviously, I'm not running down like drastically at all. Um, you know, I'm coming down a little bit, but really not a ton. And this is just a simple, simple, I mean, very, very simple pressure setup. And again, all you're going to do, I mean, if you blitz him, he's going to come down a little bit better. Uh, and it will, help, it will help a little bit with his angle. But very, very simple. Um, again, just spread the line. Crash your line opposite of the side that you want the pressure to come in. And then I'm just going to sit kind of right in here with this, my user, uh, and at the snap of the ball. And you're going to see the pressure is going to come in off the edge. Now, um, if I don't if I don't have a good uh, lurk with my user, if I don't bring him down good and get a good hold there, sometimes the pressure will get picked up. But uh, and that's why sometimes I like to blitz him. So you see right here, but it's going to come from one side or the other. It's either going to come from the right or it's going to come from the left. Um, typically. As you can see here, again, you're just simply sliding these guys off right off the hip right here. And then sometimes, you know, you can man them up on the running back and come down. You can do whatever you want. But as you see, one of those two DBs is going to slip in uh, at the quarterback. So, again, guys, you can do this out of uh, all sorts of kind of different sets. You can do this out of dime one four six. You can do this out of dime two three six. You can do this out of dollar. Uh, this defense really exists in a lot of sets here. One of the things that I personally like to do is I actually like to really stack myself right in the A gap because um, I think it gets that guard. You see how it holds the guard a lot better? That's just my personal preference. But again, it's all about where you stack and where, you, where you're where you going to hold. Some people like to um, kind of fake like they're coming down. But the offensive line already knows that you're coming from a spread look. So what I like to do is sit right here. And you'll see that's going to hold them pretty nicely um, for the, you to get the pressure off that edge. 
But yeah, that's dollar three two six guys. So this is a nice little defense you can mix in with your coverage defenses. You can run all sorts of coverages from this. This defense is good every year for that reason. Um, and like I said, you know the line is already going to jump out. So if you can have something that's going to come from the middle, um, that's really going to help you with the pressure. Uh, there, the running back was able to help out in pass protection a little bit there. But anyways, guys, that's dollar three two six. The same concept can be applied out of. Pretty much all of the uh, dime one four six packages, dollar three two six, dime two three six. Um, this will work out of all of them this year. Um, again, I like to just come in and, and around, but as you can see there, the pressure is going to come right in off the edge there for you. So that is dollar three two six edge heat from the four six playbook. Thanks for watching, and guys, remember we're going to upload about four videos a day here on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you can get notified whenever new videos go live. And also, real quick, we live stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. So if you want to come by, hang out, see me play live, that would be a great opportunity. The link is in the description below. And be sure to join the Discord. That's the best possible way to stay up to date. Check out some of the videos on the screen, and I will see you tonight.